Stay tuned and let's build our AIM army. Hello and welcome back to the channel, Dan Who Reviews. As always, my name is Dan W. Make sure you are following me on Instagram at it's Dan Who. Today we have the Marvel Legends AIM Army Builder Trooper. Now this is a Hasbro Pulse release, um, but for some reason in the UK, we're not allowed to have a Hasbro Pulse. But thankfully, we do have stores like Comic and Cocktail. So special shout out to them. Links on the screen and in the description below. That is where I got mine from. Now, I only picked up one out of pure curiosity as this is the second Army Builder release from Hasbro. As the first one was the obvious pick. It was the Hydra Trooper. So the second was had to be aimed. Let's be honest. We knew it was coming and I'm thankful for it. This is Hasbro's cheaper way to give us figures where we sort of need Need more than one on the shelf for it to make sense. They're little armies, they're fodder for your heroes, and they do look good when they're displayed together. So we've already looked at the Hydra Soldier, link uh, on the screen for my review of that. But today is all about the AIM. Let's see the differences. I'll compare it to the other versions we've already had of AIM. But Hasbro have not uh, sort of told us what's next, but they have said that there's going to be at least one more army builder in 2020 and they did say it's going to be a figure that we haven't had before so it's not going to be a reissue so guesses in the descriptions below but my prediction is a hal fire goon soldier uh, we sort of need them we haven't had them in the hasbro era and it's a nice figure to army build uh, and since they've teased sebastian shaw then I think that's the obvious guess. But I could be completely wrong. It could be a hand ninja. Uh, it could be something else. I don't know. You let me know your guesses in the description below. But let's be honest, the Hydra and AIM had to be the first two. So let's look at AIM. So obviously it's in this new stylized box, a lot smaller than you think, especially compared to your average Marvel Legend size boxes. Let's have a look at a normal size Marvel Legend box. There you go. That is uh, Union Jack UK repping and you can see that it's tiny in comparison. But it's again, it's a cheaper way for them to give us more figures. So let's compare it to the other versions of AIM that we've already had in figure form. So the first release of AIM we got was way back in 2014 in the Mandroid Builder figure wave uh, where we got this AIM soldier, which was very nice. But then they re-released it in a two pack and it had a few little updates. So you may not spot them at first, but uh, the belts are slightly different. The visors have a different color. The gloves are obviously yellow and black. Um, so there are a few subtle differences, but I think the differences were for the better as I do think this two pack version is the better aim soldier. So I'm curious to see which one this is in the box. I do think it's gonna be more like a reissue of this two pack version with the black gloves, but we shall find out. Uh, to be fair, I do think they've already showed uh, released pictures of it. So I think I already know it's the black glove one, but still. Uh, usually I'd cut away, but since it's only a small box, let's just open it here on screen and see what we have in the box. So we get the aim with nice black guns as well, by the way. Some instructions we do not need. Uh, so let's, there's some tape up here. Let's get that open. Get him out. Pow. So... Here he is, as expected, it is a reissue of the two pack sort of version with the black gloves and the black visor and that updated bout. So if I bring that one in real quick, uh, you'll see. Um, but the harness is not brown. This version from the two pack was brown and it had the uh, grenades in a gray. This version, the harness is all black and the grenades haven't been painted at all. So if you can see that from the first, that's the first sort of major difference I see. Other than that, if I bring these hands out real quick, we're looking probably at the same figure. So that is the way you're gonna tell the difference is the harness with the grenades is gray and it has the silver on the two pack version. And on this single army builder release version, it's all black, no gray at all. But the boots are the same. Belts are the same, harness uh, is the different, uh, the gloves are the same, and the visors, all the same. So it's the two-pack version with a different harness. There you go, mystery solved. But I do like this figure overall. I do think the AIM soldiers 
do look cool. Uh, my missus has seen them on display and she calls them the, the uh, Beehive Man, um, which sounds like another superhero in itself. But uh, it's not Beehive Man, it is the AIM Army Builder. So he comes with two guns, which ain't crazily yellow. Uh, some of the previous guns we've had from AIM make it very obvious they're AIM members, as uh, they literally say AIM. It literally says AIM on the gun, so it's sort of obvious uh, who they belong to. But now we're getting these black versions of guns. I'm sure we've seen this before. Very like space, high tech, futuristic, but they are advanced uh, ideas, mechanics. So uh, this is obviously gonna be a futuristic gun, but it's all black, crazy sculpt. Let me know in the comments where we've seen this before because I'm sure we have. And then this little gun that we've definitely seen before in other AIM soldiers and I'll show you in a minute. Um, but yeah, just all black gun. Uh, I actually prefer the guns in all black, to be honest. Um, and he's got two trigger fingers. There you go. Without any problem at all, he holds that gun there. This one's a little bit thicker, but there you go. He holds that gun as well. So you can have your aim trooper stand in with his weapons if you want, or you can mix and match. That's the whole point of it being an army builder. You can switch up the display any way you want, but that is what you were getting for uh, your money. A nice, simple trooper, so you can buy more than one, and I do think it's a great idea from Hasbro. Time for the most pointless comparison ever. We have Aim Soldier compared to Aim Soldier compared to Aim Soldier. This is of course the Mandroid version, the two-pack version, and then this new Army Trooper in the middle. And I do think I like the Army Trooper uh, probably the best. I just like the black contrast to the yellow. Um, <laughs> but that's a stupid thing to say because they're all black contrasted to yellow. I don't know. I've gone crazy. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, there are subtle differences, as you can tell. Mainly the Mandroid version is the biggest difference with because it hasn't got the black gloves, it hasn't got the black visor. Uh, the harnesses are different on all three of them. That is probably your biggest tell I have to what version you've got. The belts are slightly different, but as I said, it's the most pointless comparison. They're all black and yellow. They're the, the beehive men, as my girlfriend says. But yeah, they look good when displayed together. You cannot deny that. Um, so I'm very happy with how these look. I will probably end up getting a couple more. In the AIM 2-pack, we did get a, a sort of shock trooper, but let's be honest, it was just a paddling repaint uh, from one random comic panel, uh, a cheap way for Hasbro to give us another figure. But again, if you've got the 2-pack version, here is your comparison compared to this AIM shock trooper. At least I think that's what they called it. Here we have our three Marvel Legends army builders. This is the Hydra single packed version from Hasbro Pulse, obviously AIM, and then we've got the Shield Agent as well. Uh, I did think that the Shield Agent would probably be the third release, but it turns out now it won't be. So maybe we will get a Shield Agent release next year uh, as it seems too obvious to do it. But Hasbro, give us some interchangeable heads, okay? When you give us a Shield Agent, I wanna see some interchangeable heads. We never actually got a Shield Agent Agent two pack like we did with the Hydra and AIM. So yeah, yeah I still want to see more opportunities to get some shield agents for the display um, as I want some people for the bad guys to fight as well. I need some fodder for bad guys, not just the heroes. But yeah, three great army builders from Hasbro. Bravo. So there you have it, AIM Army Builder Trooper from Hasbro Pulse. If you are a fan of this design, then definitely get more than one because look how good they look all displayed, posed together like this. I might have to rearrange the display so I can get them standing like this on the shelf because they just look really good and they stand out. And again, if you're into ACBA, then it's great to have lots of these fighting your bad guys. Uh, but yeah, I think they look good. So you let me know in the comments below how many AIM soldiers do you have? Very curious to hear how many is too many uh, when it comes to army building. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, but as always, people, you know what to do. If you are a fan of Marvel Legends, then you're in the right place. Head over to the videos tab, uh, check out hundreds of Marvel Legends reviews. But most importantly, please, please, please help the channel grow and hit that subscribe button much appreciated and if you do want to support the channel that little bit more then i do have a patreon as well head over there links in the description below thank you very much but as always people my name is dan w and of course i shall see you on the next one